it's O Megan, and I am here at the magical land of the Center for Sexual Pleasure and Health, and I am going to be answering your sex questions right now. I have trouble getting wet and staying wet. What do I do? There are so many things that can affect lubrication. Quick things would be stress, if it's midterm time, if your children are running around and there's so much laundry to do. Medications can affect the lubrication production. So anything from hormonal forms of birth control, like the birth control pill, to antihistamines. If it's drying up your nose, it's drying up the cooch. They're both mucous membranes, remember that. Other things could be diabetes, it could be your menopausal, and the big, big thing, that usually happens is you're not turned on enough yet. Lubrication is part of the process of sexy time, just like erections can be part of the process during sexy time. There are options. You could change your medication. You could talk to your doctor. Um, you could also go to the store and pick up some lubrication. Move is a lubrication that's found at CVS, most drug stores, and it's a silicone based lubrication. So it's the Energizer Bunny. It stays on forever. Another thing that you could be doing is you could be stimulating the anterior fornix erogenous zone, also known as the AFE zone, has been found to increase vaginal lubrication if somebody stimulates it three times a week for 15 minutes at a time. Place one or two fingers inside the vagina and go all the way back until you feel something that feels like the tip of your nose, and that is the cervix, and then you want to go directly up. You want to be doing a coochie coochie coo motion or come hither, whichever language you like better, and stimulate that area for about 15 minutes. My fingers are short and many other people's are too. So that's why these fingers are awesome because they can go all the way in the vag and they can do this. Stimulation of the nipples increases vaginal lubrication. So you can do that with fingers, fun free sex toys. You can also do that with nipple clamps. When you take the nipple clamps off, remember to take them off slowly, and it's really compassionate if you place your hand over the nipple after, because it calms the nerves down. The most intense time of using a nipple clamp is actually when you take it off. If you're looking to explore more about different sensations or different ways that you could play, or even things about anatomy, things that could increase your vaginal lubrication production, I really recommend Women's Anatomy of Arousal, written by Sherry Winston. And to recap, remember, lubrication, check the medications that you're on, try to reduce the stress level, pick up these awesome fingers, and stimulate the nipple nicely. Nicely is the key word. Thanks for watching. You liked that, didn't you? You should ask your sex questions on any of our social media channels, and we will be back next Sunday. Thanks for watching.